Hello everybody and welcome to the Rising of the Shield Hero episode. I think we're on like 17 or 18. It's one of them. 17, it's gotta be. Uh, anime review. Um, this was an episode that was good. I enjoyed it. There's, there was actually a bit of everything in this episode. I think the end, not the end, but like we've got an end goal now. We're gonna reunite the heroes. We're gonna, they're gonna unite. Maybe not because I know the light novel continues, but let a man dream, okay? So, we begin at the beginning. As we always do. Uh, and Vittoria takes Melty hostage. Basically to say, now Fumi, stop dicking about. Go and be friends with the other hum humans? Heroes? Or I will kill this petty human. Uh, but he's like, nah, actually I don't want to do that. I'm, uh, uh. All he's got to say is, it's not my fault. I don't understand why he never... He's reluctant to even go near them. But he should just say, I would love to make friends with them. But they don't like me. Go and talk to them instead. That's all he's got to do. And then she'll be like, oh, okay, I will go and tell the others off and not you. But he's like, being rebe he's a re rebellious teenager, damn it. Stop it now, Fumi. Use your red. I'm just joking. Uh, but yeah, then Vittoria wants to fight Philo. And they, they have a little bit of a fight. Now Fumi gets blasted at one point for trying to cheat. Which, to be fair, he does. The rules were made very clear and he tried to cheat. Vittoria did nothing wrong. Uh... But then Philo wins because now Fumi's a good cheerleader. Is uh, She wins. Vittoria lets her win. Like, she is not stronger than Vittoria. I like that. I like that she won, but she's not stronger. Because that would have been, like, stupid, unrealistic. And be like, she's been alive for literally hundreds of years. Like, why is Philo beating her? I like that she didn't... She beat her, but she didn't beat her, did she? That's what I... I like that. I like that. But, uh, yeah. It was a test the whole time. And then she gets a crown because she's now the successor to the Philolial Queen. And she's going to be the next queen. Which is, you know, fine. It's fine. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. I don't think she's going to leave anytime soon. And by giving Philo the queen and naming her the successor, uh, Vittoria has essentially dug her own grave. Uh, she's she's not going to survive. I don't know if she's going to die in this series, but she's, she's at some point she can't survive. Like, it's... <laughs> It's she's ri she's set the stage for the future. She, it happens a lot in anime and other media. Like she set everything up for the next group. Now she's got to go and sacrifice herself. It's gonna happen. I can. It's just too obvious. It's too obvious. Now it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna feel like a fool, but that's fine. But uh, he also she also powers up his shield, uh, and Melty gets a ride on her head, which was interesting. I'm sure that's fine. Why not? But uh, yeah, then Victoria's like. Okay now, Fumi, I'm going to drop you near a, a, another hero, which has got to be Spear Hero, who's the only one whose name I don't remember, who is the most antagonistic, because she's like, you're going to make up straight away. Uh, and then she's on about, you got to either choose to save the world or save the people. And I'm like, obviously you choose the people. But that's just, you know. She also upgrades his armor to resist the effects of the raid shield. So like, there's a lot of like, this is a lot of admin, like, I'm going to upgrade you, I'm going to upgrade you. Philo got boosted by being made the queen or whatever, or successor, her stats got all up. It's like a rank up in Fire Emblem or something. Uh, but then at the end she gets, like, a lap pillow from him. And we basically, there's also flashbacks throughout the episode of her master or whatever. And now Fumi is, like, just like him. So, like, I like I do kind of like that. It gives, it gives every, the reason that she's, like, you know... She believes in him a little bit. It's because he's like his master. And it's like, ah, okay, I get that. I get that. That's good. That's good. It's a good callback, but I still think she's she's written herself with all the, like, how nice she... She's either going to join the main party, which I don't really see happening, or she said she says, like, prove to me that it's worth me getting involved or something. So maybe... She, now, Fumi's going to unite the heroes, and then she's going to help. I still think she's going to die, though. That's just That's just what I think. Uh, then post credits, Ren and Itsuki are looking in a tomb for something. I guess they're looking for the special weapons. I don't know. Uh, but then they get explosioned. We don't see what explosions them, but they get explosions. So they're they really should be dead. I know they're not, but they really should be. So I think maybe they might survive, but their party members might die. I think they might be the two survivors. I could be wrong. They could just die. Could you imagine that? That'd be mental. Uh, but yeah, I'm, that explosion bit, I was like, okay, what was that? Was that mine? I've got a sneaking suspicion it was, because she's like fire magic, and explosions are fire. Anyway, I don't know. 
Let me know what you guys thought about the episode and stuff. I'll see you next week. And it'll be good. Bye, guys.